All right, YouTube, it's time to go shrimping again. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again coming at you today. I just wanted to do an update on my shrimp tanks, uh, so we'll uh, we'll skip all the fish tanks and just uh, cover the shrimp tanks. Um, looking right now at my uh, one, of, one of my racks with the four 15 gallons on it. Um, just kind of go through them all here. Um, this these are the um, S grade Crystal Reds, A to S grade, I guess. Got a lot of adults right now. Um, but they, they're breeding like crazy. Um, there's some juvies and shrimplets in there. I just sold off a bunch. Um, <clears throat> so, um, you know, another couple of months and I should have a, 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 another large colony in here. But they're going good. They seem to be the best, um, doing the best out of all my tanks for me. Got some red moss in here. The, the other various kinds of mosses in this tank have kind of mixed in, so I'm gonna have to go through and separate that out. But um, got a nice uh, group of Sabwasser tang, and then there's some other moss up there. Um, little uh, mini Christmas moss right here. Uh, coming next door here, we've got the uh, SSS grade. Um, crystal black shrimp. Um, I lost quite a few of these um, and it was basically due to the water parameters. I've got that straightened out now and um, they've stopped dying. Actually not, I, sh I take that back, not not necessarily the water parameters but I was uh, overdosing some supplements and uh, I've since stopped using both of those supplements and uh, Basically, I'm, I'm not dosing anything anymore in this tank other than um, the Beta-G once a week. And things have really turned around. So, they've bred. You can see some shrimplets right here on this rock. There's some other ones around. So, I'm hoping I still have at least uh, a couple of females in here so that this, uh, that this colony can kind of uh, rejuvenate itself. I'll probably buy some more too, um, just to kind of get a jump start on it, but everything's looking good here. Got some nice anchor moss and some more Sabwasser tang. This is some mini Pellia, but it's actually got some other moss that's kind of mixed itself in. But doing good overall. Uh, coming next door is the, uh, the SSS grade um, Crystal Reds. Looks like there's one Crystal Black that got itself in there, maybe it jumped. Um, and as you can see, um, there has been some a little bit of breeding there. There's a small shrimplet down there. Um, so things are going good here. Kind of the same story as next door. Um, I was losing these guys, but now I've stabilized everything as far as dosing goes, and um, um, it's uh, it's plateaued out to where I'm not losing them anymore. So that's good. Um, but yeah, these guys are doing great. Um, this tank, mainly the moss in here is Fissidens Fontanus um, and a little bit of uh, flame moss right there. Moving next door is the Red Rilly tank. See a bunch of them there. They're doing good. Um, you see some shrimplets around from time to time, so there is some breeding going on in there. Um, got some nice mini Pellia growing right here. A little bit of red moss in there. So yeah, these guys are doing good as well. I'd like to really uh, see this colony start to really grow. I've got quite a few in here, so really if I can get them to start breeding, it should really take off fast. Or I should say breeding more. They are breeding some, but just not a ton. So, um, But yeah, these guys are doing great. Fun to watch. Okay, so moving next door here, I've got two more 15-gallon tanks on a rack. Um, the top here is uh, the Royal Blue Tigers. Um, I, um, I, I, in my last fish room tour video, I talked about these that I um, had lost several. Um, and it was due to um, 
I had the TDS way too low. Uh, my bad, I didn't research them enough and, and to know where the TDS should be. But I've got that under control now, so I'm just kind of holding off to make sure no more pass away and everything's cool. And then I'll get some more to replace the ones I lost in this tank. Sorry, there's a little bit of algae on there. But I've still got like five or seven of them in here. There's three of them out eating right now. Um, there's another one up on this piece of oiko stone there. And then down below are the carbon rillies. They're doing well. Let's see if we can't get um, some growth in this colony here too. Yeah, looking good. Um, and then I'll take you upstairs in a second to show you the, the other tanks, but I wanted to show you the space right here. You can see there's four tanks sitting in here empty. I'm going to be putting four more 15-gallon shrimp tanks there. Um, setting those up pretty soon. I've got all the supplies and substrates and stuff on order, so I'll take a look at that. Um, so I'll take you upstairs now and um, show you what I've got going on up there. Okay, so starting off here, I've got the uh, yellow neos. Uh, recently added to this colony. Found a really good deal online uh, that I couldn't pass up. So, going to kind of give one more shot at these guys. These are really tough to breed, and everyone I talk to, just there's, for whatever reason, these are hard to breed, especially for a neo, and hard to keep. So, going to give it one more shot. I got 34 more here and I, I still had like 10 in the tank, 10 to 15 maybe. So we'll see what happens. Some of these definitely have better coloring than others. You can see there are a couple shrimplets, so the, and these, that came from um, the colony I already had before I got these new ones, so they were doing a little bit of breeding, not much, but a little bit. So these guys are in a 20 gallon tank uh, below my planted discus tank. And then over here are the red cherries. They are going to get moved up to the 5 gallon where my blue pearls used to be. And then this is going to get set up um, to do um, a little bit more advanced type of shrimp. Not sure what yet. These guys are looking good. 20 gallon long here that's under my discus tank and then the 5 gallon that I used to have the blue pearls in I sold those off recently here right now I just put a couple of pea puffers in there because there was a ton of snail babies that I wanted to get eaten and uh, once they clear all those out I'll put the red cherries up here like I just said and kind of go from there so so yeah, that's really about it right now, um, as far as the shrimp goes. Um, like I say, I'll be adding four more tanks. Not sure how quickly that'll happen, but um, it's underway. Um, like always, when you watch my videos, uh, please make sure to go over and uh, subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. Their links will be below. Make sure you go on Facebook and go to the Aquatic Support Community Facebook group. And then go ahead and give the Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page a like, too. Really appreciate it if you do. Thanks to everyone who watches my videos and who subscribes and comments and likes. I uh, appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions. Please comment below. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.